Hey guys, welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I'm going to be showing you the for loop as well as the repeat statement. And to do so, we're going to be getting the help of these lovable little purple mobs. And their eyes are going to spin around. It's going to look really exciting. Um, okay, so the for loop and the repeat statement. What is the for loop? If we go to the search and type in uh, for, I think it should be under the for loop. P S T. Here we go. The for statement. Okay, so. Uh, basically, um, the for loop is commonly used as a counter for evaluating arrays. Here it says drawing things, and uh, this code illustrates what it is. So, here we have var i. This is pretty much the for counter. So in this case, they've got a temporary variable because uh, I mean you can use temporary. It's it's excellent to use a temporary variable right there. Um, so we've got our temporary variable, and then we start with for, and then we say set our temporary i to zero. That's where we want to start. Then here it's going to evaluate is i less than 10. If it is, then it's going to execute the code. If it isn't, it's going to stop looping. Then over here, this is the step phase. It says what must happen to i, and in this case, we're going to increase it by 1. So it does one of these, it draws the text, sets i to, to 1, draws the text again, etc. etc. As soon as i is equal to 10, it's going to stop drawing and carry on with the program. So that is the for loop in a nutshell. So, and let's look at the repeat statement. Um, basically, the repeat statement is similar to the for loop, only that you don't have to have i and you know all that stuff. You can just say repeat and how many times you want to repeat whatever's within the uh, curly brackets. So in this case, it's going to create something five times at those coordinates. Random for hundred. Okay. Um, then here's some code just to see. See here they've got var i, same kind of way, and ultimately they're using the repeat statement in the same way as you'd use the for, for loop. Okay, so let's jump into some code here and see what we can do. So in my case, I want to create so many instances of that object mob in the game room when a key is pressed. So what we can do is we can add event, key press space over here, and add some code. So now let's do it. Let's say var i, just as in the uh, manual, and then we're going to say for i equals naught. We want it started at zero. Okay, semicolon. Then the evaluation. It's going to say i is going to be less than seven. All right. And then the step phase. We want i to not one. We want i to increase by one. Now, if you're using Game Maker Studio, I think I'm using 1.2. Yeah. Um, I think it recently they added the the plus plus, the incrementing as in C plus plus. But if you're using Game Maker 8 or below, you can just say plus equals 1. It's the same thing. Increase by 1. Then what do we want to do? In my case, I want to create an instance um, of mob. And we're going to put them randomly in our room. So I'm going to say I random. I random, it's going to, I random range. And then uh, 0 plus 80. So it's 80 away from the left of the screen. And uh, whoops, this is going to be room width minus 80. Okay, then the y is going to be, I can just copy this, right there, and this is going to be room height, minus 80, and then uh, object mob, there we go, so, starts at 0, goes to, evaluates it until it's less, uh, until it's greater than 7, or equal to 7, and then it stops, so, when this thing, um, Compiles and runs, it's going to start. It's going to say naught, then it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? 6 is less than 7. Then, as soon as it says goes to 7, it's going to say, wait a second, 7 is not less than 7, so don't loop. And then it's just going to exit. And then it's going to carry on doing whatever other code we've got. So, if you count these, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, starting at 0 and evaluating until um, i is equal to 7 or greater is seven uh, loops, all right? So that'll create seven instances of object mob randomly throughout the room. Now, the repeat statement is pretty much the same, only it's a lot simpler. In this case, you don't have to have our i and all the stuff and incrementing and all that stuff. You can just say how many times you want it to repeat. So we want it to repeat seven times. What do we want to do? We want to create this, seven instances of object mob randomly throughout the room. 
So now you're thinking, well, where does one use a for loop and where does one use a repeat statement? Well, it's pretty simple. If you want to um, evaluate an array, and you want to use this i in the array, so if you don't know what arrays are, just bear with me here. So say we have uh, array, and we're going to say, I don't know, set array position i to 1. Then this is going to say, it's going to start at naught. so the first element is going to be set to 1, then that'll increment... And then I will be equal to 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that'll go through the array, setting everything to 1. Um, so if you're using an array, then go for a for loop. If you wanted to do an array via the repeat statement, you'd have to do something like this. And then here, you'd have to say i++ plus plus or i plus equals 1. And then in here, you'd have to have array i equals, whoa, whoops, equals 1. See? It's the same kind of thing. So that is the same as that. Exactly the same. However, if you just want to create so many instances of something, use a repeat. It's very simple. If you want to use an array, go for a for loop. All right. So in either case, we're going to check out what each one does, and I'll show you that it's going to do exactly, oops, exactly the same thing, man. Exactly the same thing. So first, let's do the repeat. Okay. Let's go play. All right. So there's the counter just telling us there are zero mobs in the room. And as soon as I press spacebar, boom, repeat statement executes, and we've got three, four, five, six, seven of them. If I push it again, it's going to keep increasing by seven. So the repeat clearly does what we wanted it to do. Now, if we go back here to the space and we take that out, and instead we want the for loop, see if the for loop does what it's supposed to. All right. Okay, play. All right, so it starts at zero, and we hit space. 7. Alright, check that out. Exactly the same thing. So that's pretty much uh, the similarities and differences between the for loop and the repeat statement. Repeat statement is a lot easier if you just want to have um, so many instances of some object. Use the repeat statement. If you want to do the same thing but maybe you want to throw in arrays and all kinds of stuff and you want to use that i counter in your arrays, then go for the for statement. So I hope you found this tutorial educational and helpful. And if you liked it, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe, and tell your friends, and I'll see you guys next time for another great tutorial.